2013 on a 13 BMW a 3 Series 2 litre diesel twin turbo automatic in pearl white. Good spec car this one, it's a business spec, something like that. Body wise, we're going to start off the bonnet with our way around onto the interior, then we're going to fire up the knife. Nothing straight and tidy across the bonnet, no nasty marks there, no unwanted dings or dents. Had a little bit of a bird peel mark there, and a couple of little stone chips down the front end, but again, that's what you can really expect on a car of this age. Nice and tidy across the bottom with a handful of stone chips. No scuffs or scrapes on the corners. Nice, nice pearl white, this one. As we come round and down the right-hand side, it being harsh, the wheels could do with a refurb. No rust, no dings, no dents on the front wing. All nice and tidy down the right-hand side. Around the door hand on the back edge of the door is good. No heavy chipping there. All nice and level. Wing where a cap is cracked free on both sides. Up and across the roof again, nice and level across there. No nasty marks across the roof. All nice and shiny. It's a lovely colour, this one, especially when the sunlight hits it. As we come down that right hand side, one or two little stone chips here and there, but that's all you can really whinge about. No big dings or dents, no heavy scratching, and no big scuffs or scrapes down the right hand side. Rear arch is all clear, no rust or corrosion coming through anywhere. Around the fuel filler cap's good as well. But the corner is scuff free on the right hand side. Rear light's nice and clear. But a little mark there, a little dent mark above the reflector on the right hand side, you can see where it is. Another little scratch just further in there. Same sort of mark, I think. Coming across the back bumper and onto the left hand side, nice and tidy, rear lights are all good. One or two little scratches where we've had things put in the boot over the years, but that's all you can really whinge about. No heavy chipping across that boot lid there, normally where the boot gets closed by. All nice and level and flat on the paint side of things across the boot. And as we come rounding down that left hand side again, nice and straight and tidy down the left hand side. No scuffs or scrapes on the rear quarter. All nice and presentable. Like I say, if you're being really nitpicking, it will want a wheel refurb. Around the handle is good, back edge of the door nice and tidy as well. Across the lower half of the sill section, all nice and straight. And up onto that left-hand side front door, we'll find a few little stone chips. Around the handles, no heavy scratching. And it's all good across the back edge of the door. Wing where I cap once again, left-hand side, is all crack-free. It's got the indicator in as well. And then forward on that front wing, again, same condition, nice and tidy, nice and clean and straight across there. Interior, we've got the black leather. It's keyless start and things like this. All the toys for a modern car. Lovely and tidy on the door card. This lovely dark green style wood there. Black carpet sets all good. It's a BMW luxury, that's what it is. I knew it was one of them. Minimal wear really for the for the seat there. All nice and tidy. Steering wheel's good. Dash dash is all nice and tidy. Lovely and straight down the centre console. It's a six-speed manual, this one. All nice and straight and tidy there. Eco and sport mode as well. Have got heated front seats. And all nice and tidy on the headlining as well, from the front to the back. Again, door card all unmarked on the right-hand side. The rear bench seat, plenty of space in there. Full down armrest, lovely and tidy in there as well. No rips or tears. Carpet set good. Doesn't smell like dog or cigarettes or anything nasty like that. Lovely big boot on this 3 Series. All nice and straight and tidy in there. Storage space like most modern cars. They don't come with spare wheels anymore. I left them. Little pud lights as well there. Left hand side rear, nice and tight on the door card. No rips or tears, minimal wear really to the seats. Nothing you can really complain about in there. And then again onto that left hand side front. No complaints on the door card at all. Dashboard's all unmarked as well. You've got that little flip up screen as well for the nav and things like that. I think it's actually a fixed screen. Shows how much I know about the modern cars. Lovely and tidy up the seats there. No rips, splits or tears. Like I say, we have got heated front seats in this one all nice and tidy in there now into the engine bay we will find a two litre twin turbo diesel keyless entry like i say push button start johnny's going to fire it into life for us all nice and there we go firing straight into life nice and happy there any warning lights no lights on the dash at all all nice and happy and tidy there. And there you have it, a 2013 BMW 320D, BMW Luxury, that one in pearl white. 